So, uh, I just wanted to come on here and drop some quick little fucking heat. So, there's this girl named Amy in the area. Amy is a fucking gang stalker. And um, Amy is, um, she's an ex-addict. And um, the police use Amy all the time to gang stalk. And literally anytime Amy chooses not to uh, participate in what they're doing, they arrest her or they're going to put her in a mental asylum every single time. So Amy has no choice but to gang stalk. Um, Amy went to this place called the Lord's Place to get some help. And the Lord's Place called the police on her and they had her uh, committed to a mental asylum or they knew she had a warrant and they fucking reported her and she was um, arrested. So now Amy's back out on the streets again and she's, you know, Amy's homeless. And what they what what they would what Amy would do, because they told me about it, is um they she, Amy would get drunk. I mean like fucked up, fucked up, fucked up, passed out drunk, you know. And she would lay on the bench. She they said she would have like a dress on or some shit or short skirt and she'd be laying on the side of like the pier or sidewalk or just somewhere and her legs are open like where you can see that she kind of has no panties on and the men of the community who are all gang stalkers and pagans um you can only imagine where this is gonna go they see amy uh passed out drunk uh laying on a sidewalk and they they rape her and um this is a regular occurrence And, um, one of the weird parts of the story is that whenever the guy is, like, finished, like, when his, you know, penis is pulsating inside of her vagina because he's already ejaculated, she wakes up during that moment. I guess she, you know, she probably knew she was getting raped and then she just wanted to wake up just to let the guy know, like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? Um, but this is a regular everyday occurrence. And today I got to see one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen, like, you know, um, Amy is gang stalking. Amy is gang stalking. And as Amy's gang stalking, right across the street is one of the men in the community who has raped Amy. And not only is he there, but he's walking on the evening stroll with his wife. <laughs> you know, and I'm here sitting now. And as Amy is crossing the street on her bike, the man is looking at Amy, but he's looking at her breast and her vagina, okay? And Amy puts her head down in shame because she's ashamed that she's a rape victim. And this disgusting Mr. Clean looking ass pig, when he's done sizing Amy up and down in front of his fucking wife who he's walking with, he grabs his wife's hand and he gives her a good big kiss. What kind of world are we living in? <laughs> Where am I fucking living? Like this, I cannot even believe my eyes. Like this place is worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. This, this is Rape County, bitch. They need to call this Rapeville, okay? Because they be raping kids, they be raping dogs, they be raping women, they be raping men. They just be raping, 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 raping. They might as well call themselves Raymond the Raping County. What? I couldn't believe it. You know when you feel secondhand embarrassment? I felt secondhand embarrassment for Amy because I could not even believe this guy was that bold. I'm like, God damn. I said, God damn. Looking at Amy's pussy and titties as she crossed the street and his motherfucking wife was right next to him. And when he was done looking at motherfucking Amy's pussy and the motherfucking titties and ass letting that hole that know that bitch I done nutted in your pussy and I raped your ass on the sidewalk and I could do it again, bitch. Get in line. He grabs his sweet old wife Karen's hand and he kisses it. Mwah. I love you, Karen. Let's keep on walking our pagan asses home to our fucking sweet little condo or our house on a bay. Florida fucked up place. <laughs> Palm Beach County is a very fucked up fucking place. Do you hear me? I could not fucking believe it. That was not even the worst part. Do you hear the worst part? The worst part was there's this fucking black homeless guy. The black homeless guy um, acts crazy for money. He acts crazy for money. Okay. Um, he, he pretends like he's crazy. He's a gang stalker. He does the theater very well. And then when he's done, he acts normal. 
so on today I seen him with a handler I seen this white man come and the white guy you know comes and picks him up from the park I'm thinking they're gonna go somewhere from what it looks like to me it looks like the guy made him get in his truck and suck his dick really quick and then he hopped out the car and left right in front of me I don't know what it is with the gang stalkers and having sex in front of targeted individuals. These people are depraved animals, you know. Um, that seems to be a very common theme uh, with me. Um, I, like I said, I'm a pervert and I will watch. Because bitch, you're not going to uh, do me ho. They had this motherfucking Mexican nigga come right by a tree next to me and pull out his dick and pee, bitch. Don't be shy ho. Don't be putting your motherfucking dick in the cup, bitch. Put it out on front street so I can see that little ass jingling. Okay, ho. The fuck. They got motherfucking Amy got raped on the sidewalk. And the nigga that raped her motherfucking looking at her titties and ass in front of his wife. And then kissing her hand afterwards. Then they got motherfucking gang stuck in that bummy ass John. Don Quavia Dante from goddamn Tamron. Going in the truck with a goddamn handler sucking this nigga dick. For 10 minutes, then hopping out the motherfucking car with a plate of food and a few dollars. It's a crazy world out there. I don't know what it is with gang stalkers and sex. They're very sexually depraved animals. These people, I mean, look at what they do to a targeted individual. I'm just a regular person, you know. I like looking at people's dick. I like looking at people's ass, pussy, and everything. I just like to look. Because I know these hoes be nervous about it. But these people take it to a whole nother level. That guy. <laughs> I could not believe. Uh, he did it in front of his wife. And then had the goddamn gall. To kiss her hand afterwards. <laughs> you know how embarrassing that is. Oh my god. I don't give a fuck if you acting or not. Bitch. That is. In. Bad. Rough. Thing. I mean, you, you, you talking about secondhand embarrassment? You want to talk about secondhand embarrassment? It was so embarrassing that I just I just couldn't even believe it that I'm, I have to talk about it. Like what happened? You know, it was a very strange occurrence. A very strange, you know. And it was very weird because yesterday, and all of this is revolved around rape. Like I said, these people who are pagans, they're ritualistic cults. That's why they allow children to be raped. And they're the ones molesting them because they're obsessed with raping. They're the most depraved people on the planet Earth. Even a goddamn gorilla in the jungle has more sense than these people. You understand what I'm saying? They have a, a animalistic instinct, you know? Animals in the fucking forest, they don't be out here raping other animals. You know that? And even a dog don't rape another dog. If a dog walk up on a female dog who's in heat in the street, it's not going to rape her. It's going to sniff her booty. And if her tail goes up, bitch, it's go time. And if her, if her ass don't want to, she's going to be like, bitch, we're going to fight. No matter how big the dog is. I know because I had a dog. And my dog left me that name. My dog was a little dog. But nobody was ever able to rape this girl. She will fight a motherfucking pit bull. And she fought a few pit bulls and won. But when she was ready, she was ready. I'll let you hit. But she never got raped. These men, they're worse than a dog. You understand? The women are bitches. Because bitches will fuck anybody. Amy's a bitch. Because I feel sorry for Amy. But Amy, you're our bitch. <laughs> and you're mutt. These men, they're just like the men dogs. Men dogs have no loyalty to the women dog. You can have two dogs living in the cage, living in the house for years and years and years. And they will never have loyalty to each other. If they see another woman dog, they're going to look. And they're going to sniff her ass and fuck her if she's in heat. Because, bitch, I'm a man dog. And it's my animal. You know what I mean? I'm an animal. If I smell another dog, woman dog in heat, I cannot help myself. I need to fuck her. You know? It's just my nature. Okay? And that same nature. And not even just a dog. A gorilla in a forest somewhere. Don't be raping other gorillas. Same situation, gorilla in the forest. You know, they, they, that's what they have mating dances in the forest. The birds have mating dances. Penguins have mating rituals with the rocks. Animals, it's called mating. We need to mate. This motherfucking man raped this hoe, and and right here on the motherfucking sidewalk was showing off, bitch. And it's just that, like yesterday, they tried to get me raped, and like when he did that, it kind of like they were like saying like 
we rape bitches around here, ho. You know? We rape bitches. We rape bitches around here, bitch. <laughs> so they almost got me raped yesterday, okay? Then they got this nigga who raped Amy, okay? And it's like these people are, are worse than a pig, worse than a dog, worse than the fucking animal in the jungle. At least animals know that they are mating. These men do not mate. They just rape you, you know? I see a woman that I want and I take it. These men are the ancestors of cavemen, you know? Because when there was a caveman days, the caveman said, You woman, ah, men want. Hit her ass in the head with a fucking club, rape her ass, and boom, there we go. We're in the 21st century. It is not expensive to buy some pussy, you know? If you could afford, you know, the nice house that you have in your luxury condo, and your nice house on the bay, you can afford $30, you know, because there are crack whores on the Broadway and the boulevard. Or maybe if you're going to be bougie, you can afford $100, you know, for back page, you know, and probably due to inflation, you can afford 150 on back page and maybe $50 on the boulevard, you know, but you can't even afford that. You a gang stalking ass nigga in a goddamn paganistic cult and you can't even afford to pay $50 for a crackhead hooker to suck your dick. You got to be raping bitches on the sidewalk. <laughs> Oh my god, the world has gone mad. Why well, you couldn't I, My mind is like, you know what I mean, like when there's a glitch, it's like seeing something but you can't believe that you saw it, you know? It's like if somebody flew right in front of me, I'll be like, "Whoa." You know what I mean? Where the fuck did they go? Did I just see somebody lift off the ground and fly? I never saw anyone that was a rape victim and the rapist be so fucking bold but it wasn't the fact that he was bold it was the fact that he was with his fucking wife and when he was done sizing amy's pussy and ass and titties up and down and letting her know that bitch i fucking raped you he kissed his wife's hand this man's a pig this man's a pig and all you motherfuckers in his motherfucking call your pigs too you goddamn animals you understand you're a goddamn animal that's probably why you have sex with animals because you know animals have an animalist uh, animalistic instinct and so do you that's why you're into bestiality and that's why you're into fucking pedophilia because you feed into those animalistic instincts you know when you're a regular human being a normal human being the way that god designed you to be you know you do not rape children because those are your offsprings and it's not normal to do that and um because even animals in the jungle don't rape their children you know that do you know animals in the jungle there's not one animal in the jungle that will rape their kids but we got humans out here molesting and raping motherfucking little kids that's a very big telltale sign of the time when the animals are more civilized than goddamn human beings itself can you imagine a chimp at the zoo is more civilized than a goddamn human a chimp knows how to treat its offspring chimp knows how to treat the offspring of another fucking chimp and another monkey and orangutan and ape but the human is raping and committing incest with his own offspring and progeny and having sex with animals we are at the top of the food chain and we are fucking animals not even we because bitch i don't do that but they are fucking animals and they are fucking their offsprings and progenies so my pray for the world lord <laughs> it's been a wild fucking day okay first thing first i'm at the laundromat and this fucking gang stalking ass whore i'm holding my basket you know my basket next to me and the girl sees this mad basket she looks at it i watch her look at it and she walks right up to it and she snatches it and she tries to hurry up and walk and i fucking snatch that shit out of her hand and i said uh first i tried to say excuse me and she tried to pretend to ignore me like i was gonna be like okay because these this is what things that gang stalkers do um you can't be nice anymore i'm i'm nice to a certain extent but not that nice but gang stalkers like to take advantage of your kindness they always got this bummy ass nigga with this big ass motherfucking 
hernia nigga Isaac this nigga ain't got no motherfucking teeth shitting in the goddamn women's bathroom always begging me to use my goddamn car charger and there's a whole friend that he done knew for many many years talking about some oh his car charger don't work bitch yes the fuck it do you just wanna they just wanna use mine because it's it's something about them getting me the nice you know empath to do stuff for them it's like a bullying tactic you know you ever been bullied at school there's that bully that say oh let me hold a dollar but they never give you back the dollar you know what i mean that's the that's the that's the tactic that they use you know they all try to be nice nice nasty you know bully you see what you're gonna do test you out you know so i'm at the laundromat and this hoe walks up to me she sees me holding the basket and she snatches it and then when i say excuse me she tries to hurry up and i snatch it right out her fucking hand i said this is my fucking basket and she's like oh well it's a basket i said well okay but it's my basket because bitch i was using it and i I had it right next to me waiting for my clothes to be done so i can use the fucking basket oh it's not that serious it's just a basket well bitch if it was not that serious you wouldn't be out here stealing baskets hoe there's other baskets out there bitch go steal somebody else shit (laughs) you know what i mean you gotta be you gotta be tough with these bitches because these people they try to take advantage of you just because you're an empath and you're a targeted individual bitch don't mean you pussy they you know what I mean especially with the nigga in the bathroom they thought i was gonna just be like oh my god like a lot of targeted individuals all they do is cry and complain oh my god i can't believe this bitch no no i am not a victim bitch i'm a motherfucking victor and i will victoriously put a motherfucking big gigantic curse up your goddamn pagan ass ass ho don't play with me play with your mama's pussy and your dead ass grandma motherfucking pussy too bitch roll that old rotten pussy ass hole over in the grave and play with it don't play with me bitch okay ho then this old ass nigga was talking to me and i could tell he was being shocked the fuck out of it was the most fucking it was sad but funny at the same time it was an old ass jamaican nigga and we was talking and you know i could tell he was gang stalking and then when he was done getting his clothes, because he kept bumping my chair. When he was done getting his clothes, he said, oh, I need to get my clothes. It's the one right here. It's this dryer. I said, that's your clothes? He said, yeah, that's my clothes. I said, that's my that's my dryer with my clothes in there. And he said, oh, really? I didn't know. I said, it's okay. I know you're an old man. And when you're old, with old age, it comes with you being senile. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to be nice, nasty, you know? I said, I understand, old man. And he's like, oh, no, it's not like that. I said, yeah, it is. I said, I just saw you stick your hand in the dryer and burn your finger. Obviously, you don't even remember that the dryer is hot and you know we start joking and you know we start talking and as we're talking during the conversation anytime he has to say something he starts blinking his eyes repeatedly and profusely but not only does he blink his eyes but tears start to kind of like come out you know like a motherfucking get out when that motherfucking lady and get out was like no 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 like and she started crying that's exactly what he started doing i it was like a glitch in the in the matrix and me and the guy are talking and it seems like they were trying to break up the conversation because the guy was speaking to me in subliminal code i mean the guy is a gang stalker himself but he was like maybe the reason why i stuck my hand in the dryer is because maybe something shocked me and sent a shock to my brain that's why i forgot that the clothes that the dryer was hot and you know with gang stalkers they never say things up front but they say subliminal messages and he kept saying things like like that like well maybe it's not my fault maybe it's the shock you know it's it's like a little flashing light you know that would shock you like he's saying like he's he's being electronically harassed and he has no choice but to gain stock you know literally and the people in the laundromat all of a sudden they they start like swarming us and trying to like keep interrupting the conversation walking through over and over like bumping me but i'm like trying to hear what he's trying to say because i'm trying to decode the messages within there but one thing that definitely stuck out to me was while we were talking he kept fluttering his eyes and then there were tears coming out of his eyes then he said that he maybe you know it's not maybe he definitely was experiencing electronic harassment but it was just very fucking weird bro like god damn i never saw nobody i saw one time someone being electronically harassed where they were buzzed 
you know, and shocked. I saw it with my own two eyes. It's a homeless guy, but this guy is a working dude, electrician, and you know, and then it's to the point the nigga didn't even know what accent he had. He had a Jamaican accent, and then he had a Southern accent at the same time. It was very weird. It was the weirdest thing I've ever fucking experienced. But not as weird as fucking Amy crossing the street just gang stalking. And then her rapist coming across the street too. Looking at her pussy and ass. And then kissing his wife on the hand later. I love you Becky Tucky. I was like damn. Ma'am. I know you ain't going home to suck that nigga dick. Cause girl. <laughs> Ooh, it's, been a, it's been a very funny past couple of fucking days bitch. You hear me? Oh my god. Anyways. I just want to share those crazy ass stories with you about uh, current events happening in West Palm Beach County here. Home of the pedophilia, bestiality, pagan ass, Masonic cult. Oh, home of the pigs, those fucking asshole cops. Your pigs. Don't forget the pigs, everybody. Home of the bacon. Where bestiality and pedophilia is not faking. They really be making kids have sex with them and animals too. It's very weird out here. Anyways, thank you for listening to my story. Don't be like uh, John out here looking at bitches pussy and ass in front of your wife. Please have some respect. And please don't be out here raping bitches on the sidewalk just because they passed out drunk and they ain't got on no panties. Have some respect for yourself. Have some respect for your neighbors. Don't be a gang stalker. Don't be like John. Have a good night.